There is only one species of pelicans in Australia called the Australian Spectacle Pelican. The other seven species are all over the world. The Australian Spectacle Pelican is bigger in size, they also have the longest beak, and their colourings are different. The Australian Spectacle Pelican is the largest water bird in Australia. The pelicans have known to soar to 3,000 metres and can remain in the air for 24 hours and have known to occasionally visit the southern coast of Papua New Guinea and the north coast of New Zealand's North Island, but only breed here in Australia. Their windspan may vary from 2.3 to 2.8 metres wide. Their pouch it doesn't look very big, but it actually holds about 13 litres of water. The only difference between the male and the female pelican is their size. The females are the smaller ones with a shorter bill and the males are taller. So just here in front of me are big males. Right in the middle, in front of Daniel, you will see a little one that's a little female. The males weigh about 6 to 8 kilos and their bill length is about 42 to 50 centimetres long. The females weigh about 4 to 6 kilos and their bill length is about 35 to 42 centimetres long. The pelican's body length may vary from 1.5 to 1.8 metres long. The juvenile pelicans, they are the ones with the lighter brown feathers, with the paler legs and the paler skin around their eyes. As they mature, they get the dark black feathers, the legs go to the charcoal grey, and the bare skin around the eye goes to the very bright yellow. So just floating in the water, just here in front of me, there's quite a few little juveniles here. So when you see a little brown and white feathered pelican, they're our babies. If you notice any of the pelican's pouch is starting to change colour. When they're in full mating season, which is September to March, the pouch will get all very bright pink and on both sides it starts to show a slate blue line. The pelicans lay about two to four, like a large duck-sized egg. Not all of them may survive. The incubation period is about 32 to 35 days, and a pelican is fully grown within 14 weeks. And they're usually independent to make a journey from their main nesting grounds from Lake Eyre in South Australia to the East Coast. We have about 500 pelicans on Tugra Lakes per feed about 80 or 10. Just a reminder that the people that are standing up, can I just get used to kneel down please? People behind you are actually stretching above you, thank you. A pelican can live up in the wild for about 30 years, but that will depend on if they never receive any injuries throughout their life. The Australian Spectacle Pelican eats about one to two kilos of fish per day. Even less in care, their favourite food is mullet. The pelicans are not particularly active, they feed mainly through the day and occasionally at night. We have about 200,000 people a year from all over the world that come to visit and watch our feed. We rely on our visitors' donations and our major sponsors to help purchase our fish daily that we buy from Jimbo Seafood Shop, who is directly behind us. So a big thank you to our visitors and our major sponsors, who are the Oceanfront Motel and Dickers at the entrance. All donations count and are highly appreciated. Beverly and De Derek are handing out competition forms. Please take one from them, pop your name and addresses on them, hand them back to us after the show. It is a chance to win a night's accommodation of you with, with the Oceanfront Motel. Volunteers who attend the Pelican Fee are all qualified in rescue and caring for wildlife. 95% of injuries to pelicans is caused by active fishing. The other 5% is caused by boats, diseases and humans. So if you notice any of the birds up on the platform have a pink spray underneath their wings, they are the ones that we have rescued. It is an antiseptic spray and it's also our marker. So if you're 
out and about fishing or picnicking here, please take your Romanian rubbish with you. Pop them in our local bins. If you look very, very closely at our pelicans, they don't actually have a nose to breathe through. Their breathing hole is actually inside their pouch. So we can just imagine what would happen to pelicans if fishing line got caught around their beak. If you're also out and about boating, please stick to our limits. We do have a lot of birds here on the central coast that are unable to fly. Our pelican feed started in 1979 by Clifford's Fish and Chips. An employee, Peter Major, would feed the birds every day in his lunch break. Many years ago, just behind us, there was a main road, and if Peter was running late, a few of the birds would walk across the road, sit in front of the shop and wait to be fed. The council created the feeding platform in 1996 to allow more visitors to view and enjoy this attraction. The entrance town centre management took over and started to collect donations and sponsors with the help of volunteers and now are a major pelican feeding attraction. Okay, we're going to see how clever they are. Pelicans, did you enjoy your feed? <laughs> Would you like some more fish? <laughs> so please keep an eye out for any injured pelicans and report it to the local wildlife groups or to the entrance town centre management. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go